It is an honor to be speaking to you all today. This is an important time in our history. The world is grappling with a pandemic that has changed the very way we go about our lives. And across the world, we are facing many issues that we must collectively address to create positive change globally. These include racial inequality, gender inequality, climate change, and regional conflicts that have increased the number of internally displaced people around the world. These issues are big and require a lot of work. In order to create sustainable solutions, women and girls must be included in this work. We know our communities, we know their needs, and we know by now that when we invest in women and allow women to take part in policy development and leadership, it, it creates positive and lasting change. That is why I am inspired to be speaking today to Girl Up campaigns around the world who are working to create positive change in their families, schools, communities, and countries. I was a young girl living in Iraq when ISIS attacked our homeland in 2014. I was living a simple and peaceful life. ISIS came to destroy that life. They changed my life and the lives of thousands of women and girls from the Yazidi community. When I escaped ISIS captivity, I knew I had to tell my story to raise awareness of thousands of other young girls and women just like me. It seemed impossible that a young woman could create this change and awareness. But I keep telling my story. I keep urging people to pay attention to, to what happened to us and provide help so that history would not repeat itself somewhere else and these crimes would not go unpunished. Thousands of Yazidi survivors of sexual violence, mostly young women like you, were used as weapons of war by ISIS. Despite the trauma they faced, they did not give up. They escaped and they are now working to rebuild their lives for themselves and for their families. What I know now is we must do more to ensure that no other community suffers the way my community did especially women and girls. Young girls lost their childhood when ISIS came, and many remain captive to this day. We must do better to protect and empower women and girls. I hope with more collective action, no other girl will have a story like mine. We have the capacity to be leaders and together we can change the world. That is why today I ask you to not remain silent about the things that matter most to you or things that have happened to you. You can work to make a change and the world needs that change. I have spent the past few years urging world leaders to take a stand and support those who are most vulnerable. We need the international community to be more proactive. We cannot wait for a tragedy or a genocide to happen to bring attention to these issues. What we are seeing in America with respect to racial injustice is that many lives have to be lost and that seen on camera before the nation was stirred to action. We cannot keep waiting for violence and death to
to happen to create change. We must demand change when we see injustice. As a young woman who had no aspirations to be a leader or an advocate, I can tell you this. The first step is to try and to not give up. You all have the ability to be great catalysts for change. But first, you must believe it and then you must act on it. Thank you.